Well, welcome back to Dunkirk Dunes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the recap for the U.S. and U.K. Uh, turn 16 uh, turns that uh, were just played, I guess, uh, yesterday on Sunday. Um, this game, I mean, if you've been following it, you, you can tell this game is winding down. Um, it's it's uh, <laughs> almost certainly going to be an Axis victory unless something went horribly wrong. For the axis, but here is uh, here's what the U.S. purchased. So they bought a destroyer and a submarine Dad. for the East Coast. Yeah, Julia, I'm doing a video. Do you want to ask me a question? <laughs> she she uh, ran away. Didn't want to ask the question. I'll have to talk to her later. Um, so they bought a destroyer and a sub on the East Coast, and they bought six destroyers and a fighter for the West Coast. Um, here's, I have it laid out here, UK purchases. They bought a fighter, three infantry for Egypt, and then on the Pacific side, they bought two infantry. But uh, here's the US movements. It's all non-combat. There wasn't any fighting going on here for the U.S. Let's see if I can zoom that in just a little bit. Um, so what the U.S. did on non-combat is they took a fighter and two tacticals here from eastern U.S. and have moved them up to Iceland. And then this is what it currently looks like here in uh, Central and Eastern. So there's a strategic bomber and a tactical bomber there in the east. And then there's a, a tactical bomber, two infantry, two tanks, two artillery in the central U.S. And they did go ahead and build a destroyer and a submarine there in C-Zone 101. Um, <clears throat> other stuff going on here on this side of the board. I might as well do it while I'm over here. So the U.S. does have this little sub here in 94. It's gone here into 97 where it can potentially convoy. Although you'll notice there is an Italian submarine, at least not a submarine, an Italian destroyer here in 92 and then plenty of air power around that can sink that. So probably not going to convoy anything, uh, but we'll see. So other U.S. stuff, if I go over here to the Pacific side. So the four fighters that were in Queensland have moved down to New South Wales. And then um, here, what's going on? in the western U.S. So they have uh, seven infantry there, um, three tanks, they've got four anti-aircraft guns, an artillery and a tactical bomber. Um, now there are two fighters. There was one. Now there's two fighters in western U.S. So you, you remember the Japanese fleet here has kind of taken over in the Pacific. Um, they're, most of their fleet there is stationed in Hawaii. So I think what he's trying to do is just put up <clears throat> enough resistance so that the Hawaiians, or the, sorry, the, the Japanese in Hawaii can't just march in and take San Francisco. Um, but th th this game is is done essentially you know um, but the allies have not uh, have not surrendered so on it goes um, for UK so I already showed you the UK purchase and this is a really interesting um, so you remember there was this giant Soviet stack that marched into Berlin and it did not succeed. Um, I mean, they had more than a hundred Soviet units, but uh, there was just so many Germans there 
that they were not able to break through. And I know the hope was that maybe the Soviets would get close and then that the, uh, the British could maybe finish it off. But there's just, there's no hope of that. Um, but a, a little I, I, inexplicably, I mean, I, I don't know that I would have done this. Um, I probably would have taken these UK units, maybe tried to do something else with them. But they went ahead and attacked um, Berlin with everything that they had here. So the two artillery, the two tanks, the six infantry, and the four fighters. And they also even brought in, um, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it here, two tactical bombers from London that flew in to join the attack as well. And I mean, maybe they were thinking to do one round of battle and then try and retreat or something. I'm not sure. But, or, or maybe they're just, you know, maybe they just kind of realized that this, this game is, it, it's done, you know. It, it, it's, it's clear who's going to win this. But the way that this battle went was <clears throat> the uh, British units got five hits. And so... Uh, that took out the two AAA. The AAA didn't get any hits on the planes. Um, and then three infantry were lost. But then in the counterattack, all the British units were immediately destroyed. Um, so they were completely wiped out. All of those British units gone. And so, you know, you can see that this game really is probably winding down, um, but the Allies have not surrendered yet, so it goes on. Um, other than that, the British down here in the Cairo area, they did go ahead and uh, pull these two infantry from Alexandria into Cairo and um, I guess I can go ahead and place the new units as well. They bought three new infantry to go into Cairo so I think that gives them nine infantry total maybe in Cairo along with uh, I think four tanks and a couple of British fighters and uh, an assortment of other units there. Um, the British bought uh, one fighter to go into London, so that is now there. And then they bought, for the Pacific side, here's this other kind of standoff going on here. They bought two more infantry to go into India, which makes a total of 52 uh, British infantry in India, along with three British fighters, and there's also uh, an Anzac fighter, an Anzac infantry, two British artillery, three British anti-aircraft guns, and uh, two or three, I've got three, it might be two, but it's two or three Soviet fighters there, um, standing off here against uh, a significant Japanese force, so... That, uh, that should do it, though, I think, for UK's turn, US and UK. So Italy will be next. Um, you know, I guess maybe the next target, one of the next targets here um, is probably Cairo. Uh, I don't know that the Italians have enough. They've got, I think, six infantry and a tank, along with a whole bunch of air power. Um, that they could attack with, but uh, we'll see if they do that or what they do. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will I will go ahead and uh, continue to provide these recap videos until there is a surrender or there is actually a, a victory according to the board uh, out of box victory conditions, which isn't that far off. Um, we're definitely closing in on that. So thanks for watching.